every single person in order to be successful for today, you need to have on your desk all six essays from this weekend and from Friday. Two of them you should have already graded, right? Four of them you wrote completely for today. You need to have your color pencils and crayons on your desk. You also need to have your cell phone out, please and thank you. Today we're gonna start with your cell phone. Okay, so every single person needs to have their cell phone out because we are going to join AP Classroom right now. Now, please listen to these instructions. If you do not have a cell phone or you cannot log in because you don't know your information, stop, listen to me, okay, stop. I'm gonna give you a whole four minutes to do this. So, I know, I know, it's pretty gracious. You're welcome. So, please listen. If you do not know your login information, and you have login information, you need to go see Miss Mosley. She is the college director. Do we know who she is? If you go up this hallway and take a left when you get to the very front of the school, right, by all the, you know, right in front of the auditorium, you just follow that wing all the way. Go to the left and keep going all the way around, and then you find a door covered in college flags. Yes? That's your college resource room. That's Miss Mosley. Get on her good side now. The woman's a genius. She knows everything you need to know to get what into whatever university you want. You want to go top tier? You want to go downtown? Who cares? She knows everything, so be nice to the woman. Be charming. She knows everything, and she knows everyone. So that's Miss Mosley. If you do not know your login information, all you have to do is go see her, and she has everything already ready to go for you. Is everyone clear on that? So if you don't know your login information, that's who you're going to see. Her name is Miss Mosley. She's your college resource. Okay. So everyone else, how many of you have already done this for another class? Perfect. So this should go super, super quick. You're going to follow the instructions that I have on this piece of paper. So you are going to go to myap.collegeboard.org. Okay, if you've already done this, your code is first period. So type in your first period code, and everyone should log in pretty quickly. Follow all my directions. And once you are done, you can just put your phone down. Now, if you're planning on dropping, like if you're trying to get actively out, do not sign up because it's going to cost you 40 bucks, and that's stupid. So, if you are trying to actively drop AP World, don't sign up because it'll cost you 40 bucks. Now, for all of you who are signing this, we talked about this on Friday, that means you are planning on taking the AP exam on May 16th. Okay? If you decide not to take the AP exam on May 16th, that means you are, oh, college board, not me. Not me. Please understand. Uh, 40 bucks. So as soon as you're done, put your phone away so I can kind of track how many people are done. How many people have no have no idea what their login information is? Daniel, have you ever signed up? Oh, okay, never mind. Didn't hear you. Raise your hand if you have literally no idea. Okay. So during lunch today, ladies, I would definitely go to Miss Mosley. She's expecting you. This is the deadline is Thursday. So she knows people are coming. She has everything all printed out. If you are in other AP classes, everyone's doing it this week. Some people may have done it earlier, but everyone, including myself, clearly, are doing it this week because it has to be done by the 12th. So, today after school, I will be going through and figuring out who is logged in and who is not logged in. Tomorrow, I will be calling you out if you have not logged in and signed in. Is everyone clear on that? Because if I'm on a list, you're on a list. And I'm on a list. I don't want to be on a list. So. Everyone needs to have had their login information. If you do not have it because you've just never done it, just go see Miss Mosley. Okay, she knows everything. Be nice to her. You want to be charming, so she likes you because she's so smart and she's so good at what she does. So, questions, concerns, comments. Is everyone clear on this? Cool. Can we get on to stuff that will help you this evening so you're not up late? Perfect. Okay, so let's just make sure everyone is on the same page for homework tonight because, uh, oh, by the way, next period, uh, you have a rings thing. You're going to a ring ceremony thing, so not a ceremony, but you're participating in a ring thing. You're going to second period, and then they'll dismiss you. Hi, you can talk about how exciting or excruciating boring that presentation is going to be, or we could get things done for your homework. 
Cool. So tonight's homework. You are doing number three and number four in your packet number two. I think everyone saw that coming. Can we agree? Okay. So um, you're just finishing number three and four. Tomorrow in class, ladies and gentlemen, I am teaching you to write an LEQ, a long essay question. So tomorrow night, you will be finishing the long essay question that we will be starting in class. Is everyone seeing where this is going? Because I had to get that crap done. I mean, this wonderful joining of AP Classroom done today. Don't we all feel better? Boo. How exciting. So take out your all of your essays for today. Take them all out and put them in a pile on your desk. I want your prompts, and I want your essays all in one spot, please. What I would like you to do is please hand all of your essays and all of your prompts to someone who has not graded any of your essays thus far. Do that now. Hand your essays to someone who has not graded your essays yet. This is not that hard. Come on, people. Find someone you haven't traded with. You've only traded with one person. You can retrade. It's really not a deal. Like, come on, people. Come on. You are literally wasting your own time. Like, you're shooting yourself in the foot. It's a Monday night. No one wants to be up late writing essays. Here we go. So, what you are going to do is you are going to write your name on the side of the essays. So, two of them should already have been color coordinated. Just put those to the side for the moment. Two of them have already been colored. Put them to the side. They've already been graded. Next to all the essays you just got handed, Mabar, you're going to write your name in the corner right over here. So I know exactly who is grading what. Okay, so in the corner of the essays, you are going to write your name. So I know who is grading who. You're stealing points from them. I'm stealing points from you. So every, all of the four essays that do not have any coloring on them, you're writing your name. Everyone clear? Perfect. So if you would, I would take out the five colors you need, ladies and gentlemen, where we restate the prompt is pink, purple, yellow, green, and blue. Take them out. You only need those five. Okay. We are looking at question three, SAQ question three. It should be very easy to find because they should have labeled it. So looking at SAQ question three, you're going to begin coloring in their answers. So begin. We've already done this before. You should be very familiar. We're making sure the formatting has been done correctly. So everyone should be. Coloring in their essays appropriately, please. You need to read the essay. Don't just color to color. If the question does not, then you can't be punished for it. Uh, if you added it, there's no like, there's no points for right now. Now later on, Jared, do you know how? Obviously, we're in week five. Do you think these SAQs are going to get a little bit more sophisticated as we get going throughout the year? Yes, but right now we're just trying to get a base level. So as we go, that'll be the expectation. But for right now, there's no punishment. As soon as you finish A, go to B, please. What's up? Number two, you mean question number three? Or for part B? Oh, yeah, so there is no period. So there is no period, so there's no punishment for it. So you're not coloring anything. So we're going to just give everyone that point because there is none. So everyone just defaults gets a point.
So everyone should be on part B, leaning towards C. That is would be a time period, yeah. Everyone should be all the way to the end of B, starting C, please. What's up, Sterling? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if it's super light and by coloring over it, you can't read it, that's fine. Everyone should be in C right now. Everyone should be in C. Hey, you should be moving pretty fast because I plan these essays. So it literally should be like that, 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 right? So you should be moving pretty quick because, like, I did this. What? No, we're going to do it. You got like 10 seconds. So just wait for 10 seconds and we're going to move. I promise. Hopefully you realize I do not like wasting time. Really? You haven't noticed? You probably think my class really moves slow, huh? <coughs> Shit, so I should move faster? I can do it. I can do it. <coughs> Hopefully you can tell my migraine's gone. Do I yeah. seem like a completely different person? Yeah. Oh my god. Thank god. Five, four, three, two, okay. So, for question number three, there was no time period mentioned. Now, if you heard me and Jared speaking, you obviously understand this is the first week I'm teaching you how to write SAQs. You understand they're going to get a little bit more sophisticated as we go, but we've at least learned the bare bones of writing an SAQ. Everyone's got that, correct? So, throughout the year, we're going to improve and clean up and clarify, and of course, you'll be held more accountable for content. That makes logical sense, mostly focusing on formatting. But right now, if there is no time period mentioned, they didn't get punished because it's not in the prompt. Is everyone clear on that? Okay, so what's going to happen on the side of their question? So where they wrote question part A, you're going to score it out of five. Okay, do you have all five colors present? Then you're going to write five out of five right next to it. May I borrow? Okay, so this person got all five, so they're going to write five out of five next to the A. This person got all five because there is no, uh, there is no time period. No one's going to lose points for that. So well, as you go down and they got all of the colors, which they should because who planned it? I did. So it all should be there. Now you have to make sure they actually did what they were supposed to do. Can we agree? But it should be there. And then go all the way down to C. And if they got all the points, do not punish them for not having a period because it's not required because it's not present in the question. Then where it says question three at the very top, SAQ question three, you're going to write the grand total out of 15. So whatever that grand total is out of 15, you're going to put it where it says Question number three, write it nice and clear. Everyone understands exactly where we're writing this. What do you got? Um, is it okay if they have two sentences instead of three? Like, because the evidence... That's fine. If they one. can put it all in one sentence, okay. sometimes, uh, hopefully you see there's a little bit of flexibility. If it needs to be in its own sentence, it can be, or it can be in one sentence. It just depends. You saw me write it in multiple different ways. Okay. Everyone should be turning to question number four. Okay, so... Starting with question number four, you're going to read their prompts and begin coloring theirs to see, making sure they're following their formats. Go ahead. I did not finish planning four for you, did I? No. 
So there may be where they're missing some content. So you actually need to read their prompts. So please make sure you are reading and not just coloring things in. What's up? Like, so you have a piece of evidence, and then they can be like evidence explained, and then have more evidence. You can be like an anyway. Yeah, you can be an. That seems like a lot, certainly. Is it a lot? Yeah. Okay, don't like whoever that is. Don't tell me their name. But tell them like to calm down. Like, get your damn points and move on. Like you really don't have that much time. What do you got? Is it fine if they have four sentences? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But like. When you talk to them here in a few minutes, tell them the shorter, more concise, the quicker, the better. Okay. Because you don't have that much time. What? For the last one, because it asks, like, in your opinion, like, mm -hmm. how would you want that restated? Um, you would go back to the original way. One way, uh, uh, one way to support Gibbon's interpretation of the collapse of Rome would be by restating that, it would clearly... Yeah. They know, the readers, guys, you have to understand, the readers are going to spend nine hours learning these prompts and learning every way you could possibly answer it before they start grading answers. So these people, you're going to spend 40 minutes and three, 40 minutes on three different essays. These graders are going to spend nine hours learning these essays, and then they're going to spend about 42 more hours grading these essays. Who do you think knows these essays better? They are going to know them better every day moving, going forward for the rest of their lives. With that being said, answer the question, restate the prompt, and get to it. Don't be worried. Well, I don't know if they'll be con they know it better than you. Completely and wholeheartedly. Everyone should be at the end of B starting C. Most of this was planned by me, if I'm pretty sure, correct? So it should be pretty much there. It shouldn't be that bad. We're just trying to make sure these people are following what they need to be doing. Now, there's also not a date range. So are we holding them accountable for points? No, we are not. So no one's being punished for points. For uh, date range. Everyone should be in C here. If anyone has a question on whether this would score or not, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you. What do you got, Sterling? Okay, so instead of like the questions, it's like, you have to like pick which one's better, mm -hmm. but then you also have to like an additional evidence. So like they wouldn't have to state. No, no, no. Be... They're saying additional evidence that wasn't used prior. So that doesn't have to be in the question. Yeah, no. You should say so if you're going to agree with Hooper instead of Gibbons, and you would say in Hooper's evaluate interpretation of the collapse of Rome. Another example of this would be you know the Byzantine Empire using the twelve tables as a continuation of Roman law. You just had to use a different, from the evidence that you used in A and the evidence you used in B, C had to be completely unique. Okay. That's what that question was asking. What do you got? Uh, they never chose A or B. They never chose? So then they didn't restate the prompt. So that's all, a point right off the top. What did they say? Oh, well, no one gives a crap about their opinion. So they get a point for that. Oh, they get two, technically, because they didn't have to put the time period. So they get two out of five. They just said, I like their opinion better. That's oh. weird. Don't do that. 
you're not a historian. You're not someone fancy. No one cares about your opinion, people. Right? Doesn't that make sense? Are you famous? No one gives a shit about my opinion either. You can say, I think Hooper better counts for the fall of Rome because of this, and here's the evidence to support it. But no one's asking you to say, oh, I think Hooper does a better job explaining it. Cool. No one cares. Like, you don't have a, PD, a PhD behind your name and you don't have your own books? No. All right. No one cares about your opinion. Okay. Everyone should be done with A, B, and C. So now what we're going to do is score it. So look back. Remember, we are not punishing anyone for t not having time period because there was no period specifically mentioned. So on the side of question four, you should be writing five out of five, four out of five. But remember, we're not punishing them for not having the period because it wasn't in it. Once you have scored it correctly, you're going to total up the score for SAQ4 and write the grand total out of 15 by the, uh, by the heading of SAQ4. Are these scores much better than the first time around? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Okay. Now, please listen to me. Please listen. All of the color-coded essays. Put them in a pile. You should have four of them. You should have two that you didn't do. Keep it with their prompt. Okay? They should have all four. You should have all four of the color-coded essays. Okay? Do not rip them apart. You're, you're not listening. Everyone should have all of the essays together. Now what you are going to do is you are going to add up all the scores. If you need your calculator on your phone, you feel free. I don't want you to screw anyone over on points because you can't do basic math. Okay? So, if you need to add with your calculator on your phone, you can. You're going to come up with a grand score for SAQ 1, 2, 3, 4. Only the essays that have all been colored because we've already scored them. Doesn't that make logical sense? Okay. So, now that you've done that, now that you have a grand score, you're going to look at where it says on the planning sheet. Okay, where the prompts were. Need to be looking at where it says pre-AP and not round two. That makes sense, correct? You're going to write nice and big whatever the score is out of 70. Because that's what the new total is out of. Out of 70, whatever their score is. So if they got a 65 out of 70, somewhere in this corner where it makes a lot of sense. You should have passed it all over. You see why we did this? It's 35 plus 30? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's out of 65. I'm sorry. See, I should have had my calculator. Okay, so it's out of 65. And write the grand score of whatever it is at the very top. So, please listen. On the top of the SAQ1 rubric, everyone should have a nice grand total out of 65. Five, right? 65. <laughs> out of 65. Now... When you get a, ca a calculator, Jesus, oh my God. When you get a stapler, you are going to staple the prompt on top of the essays. So all of your essays are in the back, your prompts on the front, and you're just going to staple their essays. Is everyone clear on what's happening here? So, prompt on top, all of your colored essays are beneath it. Everyone's clear. So, as soon as you get the stapler, staple it and pass it. What? What if they have some of their own? Other, uh, That's okay for the moment. We're not, guys, only your colored essays. Only your colored essays. What? Oh my God. How many of you wrote on the back of SAQ of your packet one essays? Only two of you? I can deal with that. Perfect. Okay. So please listen. You're stapling as soon as you get the stapler and pass it on. Come on, come on, come on. Hi, staple your essays, pass it on. Your prompts should be on the front. Where's your prompt? Your prompts are on the front. Like on the front. What? I just want the colored ones. Yes, take that off. Staple it and pass it. Guys, this is not hard. You're, if you have it attached, just leave it, staple it like you're supposed to, and we'll figure it out. Okay. Well, this is still hurting us from moving towards your homework essays. We get that. So, as soon as you have stapled it, 
what page? Okay, then we can fix that. We're, there's only like three of you who did that, so I'm not that panicked about it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put SA, SAQ packet one to the side. Take out SAQ packet two answers. Pass it backwards. Huh? We're going to leave it there, Reagan. I've already told you. You're okay, sweetie. You're going to staple it like the directions have told you. There's only three of you, Reagan. So we're going to figure it out. Okay. Please take out the two essays that you have not colored yet. You guys are going to have no time today. Let me just make sure you know what's for homework because we're not going to get there. Everyone is clear that you are grading question number three and question number four for homework. Sachi, this is you, girl. Okay, so now take out everything from round two. All of the non-colored essays should be on your, it's right there. Help yourself. See, sweetie. Okay, so let's look at question one. We're now going to color those essays to make sure. Begin coloring, guys. Let's go. Now, these ones, we didn't really plan together, so you should have a couple mistakes in there, so you need to be reading carefully. I am expecting mistakes on these, so make sure you are reading carefully. Well, no, 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 no. The planning, when I've planned your essays with you, the answers are completely correct, and you should just be following along. However, when you're doing it by yourself, you're more likely to make content errors and formatting errors. Does that make sense? That's what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to give back to the person who owns your round two. Now, you're going to hold on. Give back their in for content, guys. Give back all of the stuff to the people who own it. Guys, stop coloring. You're fine. Give it back to the person who owns it. I'll collect them tomorrow. Is everyone clear on that? You don't want to lose it. You just got 65 points worth of something. Can we agree? Everyone's clear on the homework tonight, yes? So everyone should have their own essays back, because you need the planning, people. Have a good day. Yeah, you're getting all of them back, just because some of you have things on the back.